everyone, this is Coach D and welcome to Flag Football. I'm gonna give you a quick overview so you can make the most of your experience and have an awesome season. Let's talk equipment, mouth guard. I want this in during practice as well in the game. You don't wanna fall, get hit on accident, and boom, there goes a tooth. I want cleats. This is a recommendation. If a defender's coming at you, if I do have cleats, I do a nice plant, boom, I'm down to the end zone. Also, these will make you faster. If you do have soccer cleats, I'm okay with that, but I do like to get football cleats. Gotta have gloves, it's like Spider-Man. Ball is going to stick to your hands. I don't care where you get them, Walmart, Target, doesn't matter. See these pockets? Nah, you gotta have no pockets on your shorts or your pants, otherwise I come at you, I try to pull your flag, boom, I break a finger. And when you come to the field, come five minutes early so you're ready. Don't be like this. No, I want you to be what's called complete. You already have your cleats on, have your flags on, you got your jersey tucked in, it's on the correct side, light or dark or whatever, right? You are ready to go. I've got my water bottle, I put it down, and I'm ready. I hear some basic rules, no contact. I wanna make sure that I'm not like running into people. I'm not getting super aggressive, right? I'm going after the flag. Yes, you could try to bat down the ball, but there's no like fumbles and recovering, so slapping the ball. You also can't stiff arm. When you're running, a lot of times what will happen is what's called flag guarding. If I swat anybody's hand, or even if I don't mean to, but I accidentally slap their hand when I'm running, I could score, but that would be a penalty because I was blocking it. So when you're running, try to run up top like this. There's no blocking. So if I have the ball, you're on my team, don't go up field and start blocking and pushing people out of the way. Just stand here while I run with the ball. While we are all a little bit competitive, it's about having fun and learning life skills, leadership, sportsmanship, encouraging others, working as a team. That is more important than the score. Let's have fun out there. I want you to listen to your coach. They're going to decide which position you play. We're going to try to rotate as much as we possibly can, but I don't want you to constantly say, I want to be QB. I want to be this. I want the ball. I want this. No, 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 no. Trust in your coach. All you can do is do your best. Put your best effort out there every single time. If you say it once to me as your coach, that's totally fine. Hey, I'd love to try quarterback sometime this season. I'm going to do my best to put you in that position. Every position is critical to the success of the team. So whether you are the center, the quarterback, you're on defense in the front or the back, doesn't matter. Give your all because it all goes to a team victory and having fun as a team. I need you to give full effort on every single route, on every single opportunity i want you to give full effort every single time the thing is i want you to be positive throughout this experience don't be upset if you miss the flag or you miss the ball or you accidentally get a penalty don't get too upset have a positive attitude have fun out there encourage others and know that you'll get it next time it's all good when i'm playing a game i want to know three things i want you to know where is the first down because you usually have three or four tries to get to that first down. So I want to make sure I know exactly where that is. Number two, I want to know where that end zone is. If I'm five yards, if I'm 10 yards away, a lot of times what happens is I run and then I turn around, I catch the ball. Oops. I'm like a yard, an inch away from where I need to be to get that touchdown. So make sure you know where the first down is, you know where the end zone is, and then also I want you to know where the out of bounds is. I want you to know what we call the sidelines. Imagine this, you catch the ball or you receive a handoff, you're running down the sideline, it's clear and it's open, but you step out. Ah, oh, I could have scored, it would have been such a great feeling, but I stepped out. If I'm on defense, somebody's coming at me, I wanna be able to kind of force them out. I'm not gonna push them out, but I wanna force them out so I know where that sideline is. Let's talk defense, here are some very simple fundamentals. When I'm pulling flags, I wanna break down and get as big as I possibly can. Feels a little unnatural. And then I'm gonna actually go side to side. This is a shuffle, because I wanna square up with you you as the person with the ball and I'm gonna look right here and I'm gonna try to square up and get in front of you so I don't have to like do this reach type stuff shuffle across boom get right in front of you I'm gonna pull the flag up here I'm gonna pull the flag by the handle I'm coming up top because no matter what happens if I can latch on here you can move all day long but if I latch on somebody comes up and grabs right here 
they're gonna latch on, boom, they're gonna pull those off. So I like to square up and I actually like to go for both flags. So if I'm squaring up, boom, pull both flags. And of course with sportsmanship, you always wanna make sure if I pull the flag, just hold it up, give it back to him. Let's talk about practice. You know, my son's been playing for several years and sometimes he says, why are we doing drills? Drills are so you can train your body to do things in the game so you don't have to think about it. A runner's coming at me and I haven't practiced getting big. I haven't practiced some of these techniques, pulling the flag like this. I haven't drilled that over and over. My brain's not gonna remember. And so I'm gonna be over here trying to do stuff. So next I'm gonna teach you how to do six running back or wide receiver moves when you have the ball. And you have to drill these so that in the, the moment a defender's coming at you, you can Boom, quickly do it. Otherwise, you're just gonna try to dance up and down the field. So we wanna drill this over and over so that in the game, it's automatic. You can't just say, oh, I'll do that in the game. Well, then do it in practice. Whatever you do in practice, that's what's gonna happen in the game. So practice as if it was the game. Right, here are six moves that I want you to get down so you can cut up the field and score. Number one, get skinny. A defender's coming at me and I'm just gonna go like this. You're coming right at me, I quickly move out of the way and I keep running. That's called getting skinny. Number two, get low. You're coming at me, I'm gonna drop, pick up. I gotta drill that. I gotta practice that over and over. Number three is a nice cut. You're coming at me, boom, I'm gonna act like I'm going this way and I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna juke this right here. Number four, burst of speed. You're coming at me this way, you think you've got me, and all of a sudden I burst. Burst of speed, baby. Number five is the shimmy. You're coming at me, I'm gonna make three moves and go. One, two, three, go. Coming at me. See ya. And number six, one of my favorites, you're gonna do the spin move. You come up, you plant one way, they come this way, then you spin, and you go the other way. I'm gonna plant, spin, Go, plant, spin, go. So you wanna mix up those six moves throughout your run. I wanna come up, oh, get skinny on this one. Oh, dip low on this one. Oh, cut on that one. Give me a burst of speed, and then I, oh, see ya, and then I spin move. You can mix it up, but you gotta practice those over and over. That's how you make the highlight reel. Now let's talk about catching. Like I told you, I like to have a nice pair of gloves. Here's how you catch. Up top, you're gonna catch with what's called the diamond, right? I'm gonna put my hands together just like this, and the nose of the football is gonna go right in between. When we first started, my son and I would only practice standing like this. Catching, just like this. But then we realized in the game that never happens. I want you to practice catching over here. Catching over here. Anything above the waist, you're gonna catch up top just like this. So I want you to practice catching big. Catching over here, catching over there. Because when I'm running like this, I don't wanna catch like this, I wanna catch, boom. Now, if it's below my waist, then what I'm gonna do is put my pinkies together just like this. So it's coming in, catch. And when I'm playing in the yard, I wanna catch it all over the place, right? So I've got my pinkies crossed just like this. It's coming in. Another one that's pretty important is if I'm catching over the shoulder, it comes in, comes over the shoulder. I'm gonna do the same thing. Put my pinkies together, lock it up, right? Don't wanna have it wide open like that. Look at that. I'm gonna lock that up a little bit. I'm gonna catch just like this. I'm gonna follow it with my eyes. So I follow it in and then I tuck it. Catch, tuck. Catch, tuck, catch, finger goes up here, tuck, catch, tuck, catch over here, tuck, okay? Catch up top, tuck. So I would do a nice, aha, boom. All right, don't just practice throwing the ball this way. All right, let me show you five different routes here on my hands. Number one is what's called a quick slant. Quick slant is let's say the quarterback is here, I'm here, all I'm gonna do is just run right across, just right across the front. It's a slant, Zip. that's a slant, easy. Then we have an in, quarterback's here, I'm here. I'm gonna go about three to five yards, cut in. And now this is a 90 degree angle. When you're cutting, I want you to run up, I want you to 
act like I'm going that way, and then it's a 90 degree angle. It's called an in, right? Go up, cut in, boom, get the ball. Now we talk about an out. Quarterback here, I'm here. Out goes here, three to five yards. I cut out toward the sideline. Now we're gonna go with a post. I'm gonna go up about three to five yards and I'm gonna cut right across here. Now that is not a 90 degree angle. That is a little bit further out. That's called a post. If I go toward the sideline instead, this is called a corner. Come up, cut toward the corner. And then finally we have what's called a fly. I'm right here, I'm gonna go straight up the ball comes over my shoulder as I run straight up the field. They call it a go route. They call it a fly route. I'm just gonna go straight up the field. I always wanna practice on both sides, so if the quarterback's here, I wanna do the same thing here. Quick slant, in, out, post, corner, and fly. See ya. There's also one, don't tell anybody, but something called a curl. I'm gonna go about two to three yards, curl around. Two to three yards, stop, cut, back. This is a curl. Get the ball right here. Boom, catch, run. Look, let's have fun out there. Look, this is Coach D. I'm so excited that you're now playing flag football. Your coach is ready to make this season one to remember. Go out there, give your best every single play, every single practice, every single drill, and that's how you'll make the most of this season. Get some out there. And yeah, I, I guess I'll say it. If you like what you see, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.